polygenic inheritance a condition when two or more genes they jointly contribute for the expression of a trait such a phenomena is called as polygenic inheritance poly means multi and genic means gene if there are multiple genes which are present on the same chromosome or on different chromosome they contribute for a phenotype or for a trait such a phenomena is called as polygenic inheritance or polygenic trait polygenic inheritance is controlled by multiple genes here we can see that there are different chromosomes it can be chromosome uh, called as chromosome 1 chromosome 2 chromosome 3 Uh, different genes are present on chromosome 1 there is a gene the uh, second gene is on the second chromosome third gene is present on the third chromosome when they jointly contribute for the existence or for to inherit certain traits such a phenomena is called as polygenic traits and the inheritance pattern is called as polygenic inheritance multiple genes they can produce spectrum of the mutations because there are different genes or the multiple genes they have certain effect for the production of the traits or for the production of the phenotype if we take the example of the polygenic inheritance the best examples would be the skin color in the humans or the eye color in the humans because more than one gene they contribute for the skin color in the humans and same is with other polygenic traits here is the example in the pepper color there are two genes which control the pepper color gene 1 that can exist in dominant form if there is a dominant allele then the color of the pepper will be red so in this pepper there is r red gene while if there is a recessive allele of the same gene then the color of the pepper would be yellow there is a second gene that gene is in dominant form in a y allele then it means there is absence of the chlorophyll while the second allele of that gene that is in recessive form if allele is in recessive form then there will appear the chlorophyll in the pepper color so here we can see if this is the green color of the pepper this is due to the recessive nature of the gene 2 so there are two different genes which control the pepper color here we can see that how are the different possibilities of the genotypes if there is allele r and allele y so the color of the pepper would be red in this case there is allele r that belongs to gene number 1 and there is allele y that belongs to gene number 2 so there are two genes jointly they have the color uh, expression in the pepper and that is red in color while in case of brown or orange these two genes uh, if there is allele r that is in a dominant form and allele y of the second gene that is in a recessive form then the color of the pepper will be brown and orange while in the third case if the gene 1 is in a recessive form while the gene 2 is in a dominant form then the color of the pepper would be yellow in the fourth case if the gene number 1 is in a recessive form that is in a recessive form and gene 2 is also in recessive form then the color of the pepper would be green so there are two different genes by the combination of these two genes or a joint effect of these two genes different colors in pepper they appear with some of the peppers they can be red some of them they can be brown or orange some can be yellow and as well as in green color just to understand this phenomena try a test cross between brown pepper with a yellow pepper which trait you will appear during the f generation do a cross between the brown pepper that has genotype dominant r recessive y while the second gene that has recessive r and the dominant allele y 
just cross between these two genotypes and check what kind of F1 generation will produced and what traits are produced when you cross two peppers found in the F1 generation. If we see here that the brown pepper that has genotype dominant R that, is, that belongs to gene number one and recessive allele that belongs to gene number two. While in case of a yellow pepper that has a recessive form of gene one that is R and dominant form of the gene two that is Y allele. So Y allele is dominant over the uh, small uh, Y. Uh, capital Y is dominant allele while the small Y is recessive allele. If we do a, a cross between these two types of the peppers all the offsprings that will be produced during the F1 generation, the color of the peppers will be red. While as a result of cross between the progeny of the F1 generation, there will be four different types of the pepper. Uh, there will be a red color pepper, a yellow color, brown color and green color. The ratio between these four different phenotypes or the colors of pepper will be there will be nine uh, uh, red color three will be yellow color three will be brown color and one will be the green color so nine three three one ratio will appear so we can conclude that polygenic inheritance is such a, a trait in which more than one gene gene can be two gene can be three or the multiple genes they contribute together for the expression of the traits.